This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today I'm putting a horrifying twist on Belle from Beauty and the Beast. You heard that right, you saw the thumbnail. I don't know where this idea came from, but I love it and I actually have ideas for all of the other Disney princesses as well. But I don't know, this is just a random idea that I thought of one day and I hope you all enjoy seeing this process. So without further ado, we're just going to cut right to the chase. We're going to get started sculpting. Just make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. Now let's do this. All right, let's make Monster Bell. My concept for this piece is inspired by the anglerfish. The idea is that the large ballroom gown is the monster's head, housing all of its monstrous facial features, with the princess form up top to serve as the lure. And using some aluminum wire, foil, and Super Sculpey Ultralight, I'm creating her underlying structure, or armature. This is the base of our sculpt, and a step we do not want to rush. Now I'm just going to take my Excel blade and start carving out a big monster mouth from the bottom of the dress, being very careful not to stab myself, like so, pulling out all the excess foil, and I'm just going to pop in some eye sockets. I'm not sure how big I want to make the eyes yet, but we'll make them big enough to accommodate a variety of different sizes. Now I'm just going to smooth out everything and make sure it's good to go before I stick it in the oven. And once that's baked and cooled down, I want to start covering the whole thing in a bunch of clay. And I'm using Super Sculpey Original for this project. But now we're going to switch over to Cos Clay to roll out some teeth. And I'm making these out of Cos Clay because it stays flexible and I don't have to worry about them breaking when I'm trying to paint behind them or just breaking in general. Now I'm going to detail the inside of the mouth with my large ball stylus, add some gums, and I'll be able to just poke the teeth right into these. And of course, before we start sticking in our teeth, we need to add some bacon bond so that they're extra secure. And I'm going to carefully insert each one. Now once those teeth are in, I have a little bit more faith in this piece. So we're going to go ahead and pop in the eyes and then finish them off with some eyelids. And as you can see, they are little snakes of clay that we're going to refine with our spoon tool. Slowly but surely, we are getting out of the ugly phase. Now that I'm satisfied with the face, I'm ready to start detailing the dress. Her yellow ball gown is covered in drapey fabric that, to me, always resembled a 90s wedding cake. Using tapered snakes of clay, let's start adding those drapes. Once I have the basic design outlined, it's time to start refining with a lot of blending, smoothing, and of course, more snakes of clay. For the drapey pieces around the face, I want to subtly follow the contours of the facial features to better incorporate them with the rest of the dress.
For the less prominent drapes, I'm going to use my silicone shaper to press those in, being sure to make them flow with the rest. Now watch me do about an hour's worth of work in 60 seconds. Now that the dress is done, let's go ahead and start working on our princess. In the middle of creating her, I thought, you know what would make this more dynamic? If she was stretching one of the monster's eyelids. Kind of like how she holds her dress up when she's walking. So let's go ahead and modify that eyelid. Now we're gonna take a quick break and talk about our sponsor. All right, now before we get into the rest of the video, let's take a second to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over three years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features in include the portfolios and galleries. In my line of work, I have to show everything that I make to the world, and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I even opened my online store where I sell stickers, posters, even original sculpts, and Squarespace makes everything so easy. I can track my inventory, even print shipping labels. I get notifications when I get a sale, and everything I need is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads. They really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this day and age, if you're an online business, you've got to have a social media presence and Squarespace allows you to integrate all your social media into any page of your website. So if everything I said sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to go live, go to squarespace.com slash ace of clay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code ace of clay. Thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring this video, now back to our sculpture. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's position the wire for her arm and start adding clay and shaping it out. Now that her arms are at a good point, I'm going to finish up her <clears throat> chest so we can add the rest of the dress details. And before we go any further, she needs a neck of course, so let's add some wire and cover that in clay. Now for her free hand, I made it out of cosplay so that it stays flexible and posed it in this nice, delicate Disney princessy position. Now with another snake of clay, let's go ahead and finish off those dress details. face, I want to keep it fairly simple. No eyes and a wide open mouth sounds good. Now the last thing left to sculpt is her hair, but I'm going to pre-bake her so that she's hard and I don't smash any of my work. 
Once she's baked, using a bit of bacon bond, we're going to construct her half up, half down hairdo. Just want to lay down a base and add and position each lock strategically. Once I'm satisfied with the base structure of the hair, I'm going to start using my explorer tool to create some detail. And just like that, Belle's done. Let's do one final bake. Once she's cooled down, it's time for paint. Step one will be trying to paint the inside of the mouth behind all of those flexible cosclay teeth. This is why I used cosclay. Another easier method would have been to use colored clay inside the mouth, but I was feeling lazy. And the next step is to paint everything yellow, yellow, and more yellow. This took about three coats to get a nice opaque finish and all the paint I use is listed below. And of course we're going to use a finer paint brush to paint the yellow that is next to another color. Now because this is Monster Bell, not Pretty Bell, we're going to add a nice dirty wash all over the dress focusing in on the monster's facial features. To add some highlights, I'm going to dry brush some lighter yellow all over the place, laying it down heavier on the more raised areas. And to create some more depth, I'm going to use some watered down orange and get it into some of those nooks and crannies. Now let's go ahead and get those teeth painted. Now let's paint the area around the eyes and then we can go in and add some dirt and grime to the teeth. To finish off the eyeballs, let's go in and paint some fine red veins. I initially thought I was going to add irises, but I thought this looked more effective and creepier. Now let's finish painting the princess, this nice dead green color. And of course, we can't forget her brown locks.
Now we're going to finish everything off by glazing the teeth and eyes with some glossy acrylic varnish. Now say it with me. And it's done! My monstrous version of Belle from Beauty and the Beast is complete. Let me know what you think of her in the comments. This is such a random idea, I really don't know where it came from. I always kind of knew that I wanted to like put a twist on Disney characters, but I just didn't know what that looked like, and I guess it looks like this. So I have ideas for a bunch of the other princesses too, so let me know which one you want to see me make next, if any of them, and if not, let me know if there's anything else besides that you want to see me make. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.